Berkeley students are bonkers. They're amazing, so smart, so driven. I want them to recognize how much they actually learn. Because when you're in it, right, you're sitting there like, oh, this brand new thing that I'm trying to figure out, this seems so hard, I don't know anything. I'm like, no, nah, that picture that you're looking at was hieroglyphics before you took lecture one. I teach with a chalkboard, and I'm, I am writing what they are writing, and I am saying what they need to write down. It's an old technique, like she, she ancient, she, she's chalk on board. <laughs> and so that, that feels cool to keep that technique going while still bringing in all the new teaching ideas. Part of what I try and do is not take myself too seriously. And if, if one of the learning goals of any of my courses is communication, then the way that I deliver the material, I try and keep it as conversational as I can. This electrophile, stupid good. <laughs> this is an amazing next level electrophile. I've been reflecting on some of the small conversations that I would have, like the one-on-one -on -one meetings with students, where they felt comfortable enough with me, even though we were in that giant auditorium. Be like, Pete, I gotta talk to you about insert personal problem here. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's chat about it. I tend to teach non-major chemists, but I'm teaching them like high-level chemistry. I want them to be good scientists. I want them to be able to communicate their ideas. A lot of them are gonna be doctors, right? Or that's their goal. And so like, how can you take this complicated, very technical idea and just like describe it? Like, can you, can you give your grandma a talk about what we just did? And that moment, watching them figure out that they can do it and that they have all the knowledge and the background and the fundamentals, I'm like, yes, yep, you got it. You don't need me anymore. I can leave. <laughs> you can take over. Like those moments where the students really get it is what I love.